hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be showing you how ewa and agoyin sauce is made to get started you need the following ingredients dry bell pepper dry pepper pepper flakes if you don't have the dry ones you can use the fresh ones as well bouillon powder salt and shrimp powder palm oil onions and for the beans you need the beans and you need onions i will start by soaking the beans in cold water i'll leave that to soak for about two hours so next i'm going to be soaking the pepper as well and for that i'm using hot water i'll cover it and leave it to soak for two hours so it's been two hours here's the beans the beans are washed and on the stove i have water boiling i'll start by adding the beans inside the pot and i'll be cooking these beans on a medium heat cover it so here is the pepper the pepper are washed i took out the seed and I'm going to be blending the pepper and I'll be roughly blending it you don't want it so smooth so that is done at this point I'm going to be slicing the onions and there's a special way they slice the agoyin sauce onions like so and that is how i'm slicing it this is how they slice the agoyin sauce onions so that is done and i have pot on the stove i'll be adding the palm oil Once the oil is hot, I'm going to be adding the diced onions. And I will be frying the onions on a very high heat. I am frying, I want the onions really fried, not burnt. So I have to stay there and keep on stirring it. So at this point, the onions is well fried, and this is what it looks like. It's fried, not burnt, and I will be adding the blended pepper. And once the pepper is on the stove, I will reduce it to the lowest setting of my stove, and I will be frying it. I have to stay there, and I will keep on stirring it so that the pepper doesn't get burnt. So I will keep stirring it. So next, the beans has been cooking for about an hour. At this point, I'll be adding some salt and diced onions. I will cover it and leave it to keep cooking. I will continue stirring the pepper. And I'll be stirring this pepper for about an hour now. I'm going to be adding the pepper flakes, the shrimp powder, the bouillon powder, and just a little bit of salt, and I will keep on stirring it. Ewa and Ewa Agoyi is a very special street food we eat in Nigeria. It's one of those street food I couldn't resist when I was living in Lagos, Nigeria. I love Ewa Agoyin sauce, Ewa and Agoyin sauce. So I will keep on stirring it. So when you're making this sauce, you don't want to leave it alone because if you leave it, it's going to get burnt. We don't want it burnt, we want it really, really fried. And I am frying it on a very low heat. And I will keep on stirring it. 
if you've made it so far into this video thank you so much for watching god bless you all and if you are not yet subscribed please kindly hit the red button and put on the notification bell so you'll be the first to know whenever i bring out my next video and i will keep on staring it So at this point, this sauce is almost ready. And I will keep stirring it. So you start to know when the sauce is ready, when it starts getting darker. So you know it's ready. At this point, the sauce is basically ready because you don't want it burnt. So you have to bring it out of the stove before it is completely ready. If not, it's going to get burnt. So this sauce is ready and I cook the sauce for two hours. So next, the beans has been cooking for two hours as well. At this point, I'm going to be breaking the beans with my wooden spoon. And I will keep on stirring it using the spoon, at the, using the back of the spoon to break it. So the beans is ready and this is how Ewa Agoyi is being served. So the sauce is usually put in the middle of the beans and this is my plate. I'm going to be having this. I want to thank you all so much for watching. God bless you all and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.